I just want to share with you a scripture that I turn to often throughout my life just because the world gets in the way of kind of the way that we're supposed to live, we're supposed to follow Christ. Um, and we can find this in Moroni chapter 10, verse 32. It says, Yea, come unto Christ and be perfected in him, and deny yourselves of all ungodliness. And if ye shall deny yourself of all ungodliness, and love God with all your mind and strength, and his grace sufficient for you, that by his grace ye may be perfect in Christ, and if by the grace of God ye are perfect in Christ, ye can no wise deny the power of God. There's a lot of words there. But basically what it's saying is that there's ungodliness all around us. And if we can kind of push that to the side and kind of focus on Christ's example, obviously it's super hard. We're never going to be perfect like Christ. But the point is, is for us to strive. It's for us to kind of see the end goal and kind of stay on that path towards um, being like Christ. And what makes that super easy is loving, like it says here, is to love God with all your might, mind, and strength. So I mean, we can go to church, we can read the scriptures, we can pray, but if we're not doing that 100% enthusiastic, I love doing this, I want to do this, then it really doesn't count. It really doesn't do us any good if we're just going through the motions. So when I read that, it just helps me kind of take a step back, look at my life and say, here's what we need to do better. We need to go to the temple. We need to, you know, have more sincere prayers. Um, and, you know, that's why I'm glad we have the Book of Mormon so we can kind of turn to that and realize that, you know, we need to keep getting better on a, on a daily basis. And said, this is either a book of the devil or of God, and I'm going to find out.